remains of the dearly departed is a technique being mooted in Sweden. Our reporter Neil Bodler has been looking at the alternatives to cremation. Welcome to the Anderson McQueen Funeral Home in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's a family-run place which tries to celebrate rather than mourn the dead. Inside, a piano plays funeral favourites, while screens display pictures of the dearly departed. After the services, the bodies are cremated in furnaces to the rear, where employees have to wrestle with the combined heat of the fires and the sweltering Florida summer. But there's now an incongruous addition, a shiny stainless steel machine in a bright glass room. This is the Resumator, a machine designed in Scotland, but now approved for use for the very first time in the world in Florida. None of us like talking about death or about what comes after. But something has to be done with our mortal remains. And for the environmentally conscious among us, this might offer a better option. This animation shows how the machine will work once it's up and running in just a few weeks' time. The body goes in in a silk coffin and then is heated in an alkali solution, dissolving all but the bone. After about three hours, the effluent is poured into the water system and the bones removed and ground into powder, which can be given back to the families. Critics have described it as washing a loved one down the drain. Not so, say its designers. There's absolutely um, no DNA in the liquid. It's simply chemicals. And it will go to, eventually go to the river, out to the sea, up as clouds and come down as rain the hydrological cycle, similar to all the other processes. Its designers say the resumator will reduce greenhouse gas emissions by about a third compared to cremation. It also allows for the safe removal of tooth fillings, which means harmful mercury won't be vaporised and released into the environment. The Florida Funeral Home's owner is advertising it as green cremation. It uh, allows us to reduce the amount of mercury that we emit out into the uh, atmosphere. Um, it reduces the amount of uh, consumption of gas. It's a much gentler process on the human remains uh, than the traditional flame-based cremation. And so we believe that the families we serve will find that to be of a real benefit and will probably have a lot of families that want to partake. He believes there will be a market for it here and elsewhere. We'll be very excited and very proud that we were the first ones to introduce it. Uh, we're very happy that our legislature here in Florida was the first one here in the United States to approve resumation as a type of cremation. And although I understand that it's not uh, accepted yet in the UK, we're hopeful that once they see how successful it is here in Florida and other parts of our country, that uh, the UK will also embrace resumation and uh, it'll become an accepted form over there too. So it'll, it'll make us proud to know we were the first ones to start. But this is not the only alternative to cremation which might be coming our way. A rival process called promession involves freeze drying our remains. So far it's only been tested on pigs, but to get an idea of how it works, I went down to the electron microscopy centre at Imperial College London. Imagine this rose is a deceased individual. I'm going to put it in this flask of liquid nitrogen and leave it there for a few minutes. The rose is now so fragile that this is enough to shatter it. Promession is the brainchild of Swedish biologist Suzanne Vigmosak. She lives on an island off the Swedish west coast and came up with the idea while composting in her garden. Her theory is that what works for potato skins and apple cores could work for the human body too. This was what inspired me to really see if not uh, only the, the kitchen and garden waste, but also everything organic, including us, could be treated this way to really become soil. She envisages a fully automated process in which coffins are fed into the machine, which takes care of the rest. By exposing the body to liquid nitrogen, we can easily vibrate the body down to a powder within seconds. 
and that frozen powder is then going to the freeze dryer where it becomes dry and in that stage we uh, allow the powder to go down to the coffin through a metal separation. So all the solid metals that are within our body as spare parts, tooth fillings and whatever is uh, separated. Suzanne Vig Mossack is still to build a full commercial facility, but the designs are in place and the manufacturer is ready. A square biodegradable coffin has also been designed, into which the residue from the process will be placed, ready for shallow burial. It fulfills the need that nature asks us to fulfill, and it will become soil within six to 12 months, and it is going to be a beautiful process. She claims promession could even help us to talk more about death. We thought that it was taboo, so we avoided it. But once you start, and especially if you have the chance to, to talk about this person to person, it seems to be very relieving. And it is, uh, I would say, nine times out of ten, the same word is coming back, that they find promession very appealing. And death has never been appealing before, so this must be something new. The arrival of these new technologies is going to give us options we could never have imagined. To burial and cremation, we may have to add more possibilities. It's often said we now have more choices in our modern lives. Soon, that may extend to what comes next. Food for thought before your next uh, spin cycle. That was uh, Neil Bowdley with that report. Uh,